Hi, welcome to the Israeli Theater Training Mission videos. Uh, this is m training mission number two. Uh, for y those of you who uh, follow along, this is the third video of this series. And in this uh, video, we will cover, uh, as I said, the training mission number two, which is dropping J-Dams off uh, Sufa F-16I fighter jet. Now, uh, the Sufa is uh, basically an F-16D Block 55 Plus, uh, which was nicknamed with an I in it. I don't know why, but okay, not my choice. Uh, in this mission, we will go after uh, target range 611 using uh, GBU uh, 38s. We will drop uh, four bombs onto four different targets in the target, target range as we did in the first Barak mission. However, the Sufa has a little nifty trick under its sleeve. Uh, let's just start running here by powering on the weapon. We have a shorter flight here. I've uh, I've actually, uh, when we created those missions, we've set the flight to be a lot shorter in the uh, Sufa because you're supposed to be familiar with it. Uh, unlike uh, the Barak mission, which require more time. So let's run quickly. We'll just go into the JDAM screen exactly as we did. And we'll program targets, again, 15 through 18 into the FCC. Just as we did in the, uh, in the Barak. While the weapons are powering on, again, 3 minutes. Now, uh... The difference, the main difference between the uh, Sufa and the Barak in the uh, JDAM uh, delivery shenanigans is that if you went through the Barak tutorial, you remember that the FCC would not cycle the targets. When you lift your finger off the pickle, only then the FCC will cycle the targets. In the Sufa, this is not the case. In the Sufa, once the FCC recognizes that it has finished all the target, per, uh, all the bombs per target, it will cycle next to to the next target and will drop bombs until it reaches the bomb for target limit, and then will cycle again another target. What limits the uh, drop is only the FCC. So we'll need to set the ripple to four. This will actually allow us to drop the four bombs we have in rapid succession. The FCC will just go boom, 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 and cycle through all four lines. Go one, two, three, four. However, similar to the Barak, the FCC will not cycle back. So if you start from the second line, it will only drop two and stop. To make sure, we need to set up to the first row. So we'll just hit return. And it will reset us to target 15. And that's it. We're ready. Bombs are ready. And we're rapidly approaching the target. This is going to be a massive anticlimax. Most of the video is nothing. I'll just switch to HUD view again. As you can see, we have, let's go to target 15, just to make sure we go to the right direction. This is the pull-up queue. I'm not doing anything right now. I'm letting it fly. I'm too slow, actually. Let's speed up a bit. And the ASL is coming down, so I'll hold the pickle button. No, wait. Five seconds, pickle button down. And the bombs will go. One, two, three, four. That's it. We're done. And we're ready to get, head out to home. If we look at the... At the target, sorry. They're very, very, very close together, unlike uh, the way they were in the Barak. And we can see them oscillating around a bit. This is us. This is bomb one, bomb two. I, s I don't see... Oh, sorry, we dropped on UEs, sorry, not A4s. Never mind. 
Uh, so we have four UEs, you can see them on the cross on the right. This bomb looks like it's going for the further on the two on the right. Or maybe to the one on the top. No, it's going to the right. And let's go see. It's one and two and three impact there and four impact there. It's smoke everywhere. Very, very rapid succession. Very, very easy. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so, let's just play around with the uh, FCC because I feel like you've been deceived for a five minutes video. Uh, we can, unlike the Barak, we can use this method of multiple bombs drop in a single pickle to do some crazy stunts. Like I did the four bombs onto four targets in a single pickle from level delivery, nothing says I can't do it in a loft. And you can. You can drop four bombs, GBU-31s if you like, onto four targets in less than 30 seconds from pull-up to the safety of the deck. Do it. Play with it. Practice with it. Use this training mission to uh, try any scenario you like. You can drop... Uh, well, do first four bombs onto four targets. Play with it. Practice with it. Then try doing the four bombs onto four targets in the in um, in loft delivery. Do that, and uh, once you've done that, you can go and try and mix and match and do uh, four bombs onto three targets. Play around with it, feel the avionics, and uh, feel the flexibility of it. I'm sure. Uh, you'll have a blast doing it and um, that's it for the Sufa actually <laughs> nothing to it remember 3 minutes to align the bombs set up uh, via the DD page same as the Barak same configuration, same menu, exactly only difference is the FCC auto cycles the targets once finished the code per target so once it's done with the line, it cycles down. If you, the ripple setting is still allows it to release bombs, it will, and it will go on and on until it finishes the target list, the ripple, the ripple size, or uh, the aircraft has uh, departed from the, the, the release envelope. That's it. Have fun, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.